Hello. Thank you so much for your positive comments about the quantum physics video. It was very uplifting to see that so many people were interested in that very specific area. And I know that Neville Goddard is quite famous, as is Richard Feynman, um, but because he died quite a while ago, he is not so well known among the general public, more amongst fans of his physics. So that's really great to be able to put his name out there a bit, because he was a great, great man and I really, really liked him. So brilliant. Um, I think I'm just going to talk now about living in the end, because V uh, mentioned to me the first person to actually suggest something for me to talk about, and um, he, she said, sorry, don't know if you're a man or a woman, V, um, could you do something about living in the end, about the practical living in the moment? And so naturally I said yes, because it is in my nature to help others, but I actually don't know what I'm going to say about it right now. Um, I was thinking I will just do clip three of how to use your faith to manifest your desire. So I've done number one, which is God, the foundation, and number two, which is forgiveness. So just dropping all these blockages and negative feelings. And number three is the heart of it, how to use your imagination to manifest your dream, the practical side and the theory, a bit of the theory, but mainly the practical side. So I was thinking, um, I really want to talk about living in the feeling of the wish fulfilled, because that is the essential point. Um, assuming that you already are the person you would be if your dream were fulfilled. A lot of subjunctives in there, hope you appreciate that. Um, so I don't feel I can really do that before I've gone through all the parts of how to use your imagination to manifest your dream. Because this, I've, I've, I've found about eight points to follow before I get to the feeling of the wish fulfilled. But then, as you get used to it, they're actually quite simple points, so it just merges into one, and gradually you just become um, able to just tap into that feeling that you get when you imagine your wish fulfilled. That's what I'm trying to say. So, um, if I'm just to talk um, from the heart about how do you maintain that feeling of the wish fulfilled? How do you carry around your, your desire manifested, really? That's what you're trying to do. You're, you're trying to feel that you're in a different state. You're still in the present state, but you're imagining yourself in the new state which is the person you would be if your dream came true. And I think um, that's the main point that a lot of people miss, not everybody, but a lot of people. Um, I have, definitely, and I'm going to start trying to do it properly for an hour. Um, but we think, what's the feeling um, of achieving my dream? So the first thing I think of is, I would feel really happy. So I take that feeling of joy with a visualization and um, I dip into it every now and then. But for everything that um, we manage to achieve, we would feel joy and happiness. That's natural. Um, a feeling of satisfaction, a feeling of confidence, all these things you can bring into it. But what some people forget is that when we go into a different stage of our life, if we achieve something and we're going up higher, if you're thinking in linear terms, but it's just really layers, I would say. Um, I've got distracted now because somebody outside was shouting. 
<laughs> um, okay, where was I actually? Okay, feeling of the wish fulfilled. How to carry it about. Um, oh yes, so sorry about that. <laughs> you would be in a different state. You would be a different person. Because even though something inside us stays the same throughout our lives, we do change in personality. So there would be some changes. So try and think, what would those changes be? What kind of a person would I be if I fulfilled my dream? How would I change? And then see yourself as that person and then walk into it and feel what it feels like to be that person whose dream is fulfilled. And the more that you are able to enter into that feeling of the, of the new state, the state you want, the more you're going to actually start stepping into it. And this does actually work, it's quite weird. If you do it first thing in the morning and last thing at night, those are the two times which are the most important. So you take it into the day, and then just before you drop off to sleep, you take it into sleep, into the subconscious. So that would be what I would recommend. And then if you can dip into that feeling throughout the day, that's really good as well. Um, but you don't have to always be in the state because you're not in the state yet. You're in a different state. So don't feel that you've failed if you are not in that state 24 hours a day. It's not necessary. And I've met people, and I'm not criticizing um, people following, I think it's called Abraham teachings, um, because I don't know enough about them, but I did meet one person, and she felt that she should not lower her frequency, so that she always had to be happy, um, or the good things were not going to come her way. And so I did think about this, like, could that be true? But, I mean, if you're just going by the teachings of Neville Goddard, I have heard him say something about that, that it's not necessary to be in the wish fulfilled all the time. So I really don't think, I don't know, but I really don't think that he would believe you have to be constantly happy. Um, I mean, if you are naturally, that's great, but I think it can lead to a feeling of failure if you're not able to maintain that state. And also, um, is it natural? Maybe you can make it so that it's natural, but I don't know. We're all human beings. We express a range of different emotions. And sometimes we will feel sad, and it's perfectly all right to feel sad. Um, and you shouldn't deny yourself different feelings, the range of feelings, because you feel you have to act a certain way. And it's your fault if you don't get what you want in life because you haven't been acting that way. I, I just don't believe that, but that's just me. So um, if it works for you, but I would just consider that thought though. We're meant to express different emotions. That's all I think. Anyway, I go off track as always. So um, living in the feeling of the wish fulfilled, you imagine yourself in the new state, you walk into that state, so you start to behave a bit like the person you've seen in your mind's eye in work and everyday situations. You start to um, realize that there was a certain movement that you don't always do. There, there was a certain feeling of confidence maybe. And you, you can maybe trace it back to what you're imagining in the morning and just think, oh, it's because I'm imagining myself more confident. That's why I am doing that. It's in my head. And it is that, but it's also you're becoming it. And we don't really see that. It's something spiritual happening, which is fantastic. So you're gradually becoming the state that you want to be. 
So that just comes from imagining in the morning and in the evening. And if you do it more, even better. So you get the feeling and you dip in and out of the feeling and you just relax. That's the most important thing. You relax. You assume. So you are making some effort to get your dream, obviously, but it's a very relaxed effort. So you're going through the motions, but you're not trying. That's it, really. Um, you're not trying. You're just... Because you assume that it is going to happen, there isn't that effort where you might win, you might lose. It's just coming from, because you are actually in the state, so it's just coming from that state. So you're very relaxed about it all, going through the motions, because you know that that's necessary, but you just have this strong, rock hard belief that it will happen, so you don't need to um, try. That's the best way I can find of explaining it. Trying feels to me like you're going up a mountain and yeah, just um, hard effort, hard work with this sense of doubt somewhere in your mind. Even though you put that to one side, it's there. And you don't want to believe it, but it's true. So, the most important thing I can think of, and I keep saying this is the most important, this is the most important, is the assumption, and Neville Goddard does talk about that a lot, the assumption that you have achieved your dream. Assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled. He always says that's perfect. Um, I mean, the language he uses, he uses very, very well. You can tell he was a very articulate, intelligent man. So he simplifies as far as possible because he's trying to get the message across to you just in the most clear way possible. And that's assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled. <laughs> assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled. So that's where the relaxed feeling comes from, the assumption. You just know it's already happened. You're very confident in that. And you know what the feeling feels like because you've imagined it. So you're just dipping in and out of it, but it's the relaxed confidence. Right, sorry it took a while for me to get to that. I didn't even mean to record this. I was just um, thinking, what could I say, just practice. But I think I'm going to put that on because that's got everything, if you can understand what I'm talking about, because I don't know how clear I was there. Um, so now I've got to the bottom of that, as I believe, for me, um, I'll tell you what my personal observations have been. The, the relaxed feeling, I've noticed that a few times because little things have just come up in my everyday life and I'll have that feeling that of tracing it back to when I thought of it. I'll be like, oh, oh, Noah Goddard, I thought of this, I remember thinking of it. But I'm, it's like he said, we, are, we have a certain shock in the beginning, like, oh, wow, I can't believe that that's actually happened. And then we decide that it was coincidence. And as much as we want to believe that we don't do that, we all do it sometimes, even when we're saying, no, it was the teachings, it was the law of attraction, it was Neville Goddard. Somewhere inside we have that little doubt. And it happens to me too. I mean, maybe some of you, some of you will be more um, developed in it. So maybe you're totally confident it's happening every time. That's really brilliant. Give us some advice, please. But I do have to say one thing. Neville, even Neville Goddard said that it didn't always work for him. So he was so honest like that. And I really, really appreciate his honesty. But he wanted to share what he did know. 
And that's all I want to do. I just want to share what I feel I do know um, without any claims to being a master in this, because I am not by any means, not at all. But this is really helping me to remember and I want to get back on track, I really do. So, um, I've had a few times when things have manifested and I haven't really believed it because I felt I didn't try hard enough. That was it. Um, yeah, I just felt, oh yeah, I did think of that. I did want that in my life, but I didn't really imagine it for very long. And maybe it was a, just a few moments, but there was definitely this relaxed feeling there. And then I forgot about it and it happened. And that's happened more than a few times. So I've got to start taking that seriously now. And I'm just thinking about this now, just on the, on the spot. So I think that's assuming, that the relaxed feeling that comes with assuming um, is what's going to carry you through. But if you haven't got the assumption in there, then your faith in the process is still quite weak. And um, you've got to develop your faith. And that's by really understanding the theory of what Neville Goddard taught and, and reading the Bible. It's all in the Bible. I mean, go read Neville Goddard and then go directly to the source. That's what I've done. And yeah, it just comes alive in you. It's brilliant. <clears throat> Excuse me. So to summarize what I've just said is, I was going to do this clip on the imagination and now it's turned into something else. So I'll just put this out there anyway. Um, I will do the other clip as well. So imagine your wish fulfilled morning and evening. Um, imagine the state you would be in, how you would look as a person, how you would feel as a person um, and step into that. And then gradually you start to behave as that person and you become it because you've gone into the state. You've transgressed yourself in a sense. So make sure you imagine a really positive, a, a better version of yourself and walk into that. Because if you're down and you're imagining yourself down, that's how it's going to go. It's going to get worse and worse. So always going up um, and assume that it's done. Assume it's done. And that feeling has got to contain a degree of relaxation, um, really relaxed, really, 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 really relaxed if you can, and then just drop it because I think that's what's happened actually, because I have not spent a lot of time talking about these things and I've just dropped it because maybe they weren't that important to me. I just thought that, that'll be nice. Imagined it, was really relaxed about it because I didn't really care that much if it happened or not. And then later on, something would come up, meaning that I got that thing. And they've only been very small things. But if I could do that with big things, I'm going to try it. So, <laughs> oh, if anybody is benefiting from doing these videos, it is me. So thank you for encouraging me because I am definitely being helped by it. And sorry if I sound pretentious in any way. It's not my intention. <laughs> but, um... God, I hope I haven't bored you too much with my um, contemplations and mind wanderings, but I do feel this is an important point about assuming the wish fulfilled. So I hope you like that. hope it wasn't too um, spaghetti head. Um, and leave your comments below and let me know if you managed to achieve anything, bring something into the world when you have mastered that relaxed feeling and of assumption. Blah, 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 blah. And um, speak to you soon. Bye.